say that? Too bad I said it first. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Okay. <laughs> it's time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts. And I'm still dressed in my Ren Faire stuff. So, okay, we got a few new people. It's a rainbow life. Welcome to the neighborhood. They also have a channel. Go by and check them out. Riley S. Welcome to the neighborhood. Mr. Motorhead. Welcome to the neighborhood. Joey K. Boy. Welcome to the neighborhood. Creative Celeste. Welcome to the neighborhood. Calvin Poon Lenard. Welcome to the neighborhood. And Toy Break. Welcome to the neighborhood. And they also have a awesome channel. Go by and check them out. Okay, my question yesterday was, or not yesterday, a few days ago, what creeps you out and why? <laughs> okay, well, we had spiders on a few people, Justina C. and Destiny Swan. Also, Justina C. says sharks and snakes. Okay, so, can you hold this book like right there so I can see it? La, 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 la. Tresemme won. There was a few things, but I'm only going to read one. Being in a lake in the water at night creeps me out. I love it, but it's too creepy when all of a sudden you hit a cold pocket. Ooh. Yeah, that, that's kind of cool, though. Um, will you just hold it still, please? You're the one who wanted to get this done quickly. You're no fun. Stop it! Stop it! I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play with you anymore. You're mean. Vincent Gutierrez, Slender Man. Have any of you ever heard the story of Slender Man? Check it out. Yeah, I agree. It's creepy. Lindsay Wagner. Change is one of the things. It's dirty. And she hates to touch it and it smells bad. And it's so bad that when somebody gives her change back, some somebody that's with her has to take the change because she won't touch it. And her husband has to hide his loose change. <laughs> yeah. And then Trans Am Girly said she used to work at a bank. And even the dollar bills, when she would handle those, they're so dirty and yucky. And she got mono when she worked at the bank. And she blamed it on the fact that she was touching the dirty money. And I agree with you guys. I worked at a bank, too, many, many years ago. And... You have to wonder what some of the people did with their money before they handed it to you. Mm -hmm. Jack Salmon. What creeps me out? People who eat raw oysters, raw eggs, snails, grasshoppers, mice. That stuff is what real men eat. I don't know what real men you're talking about because I know a lot of real men and they don't eat stuff like this. Uh-uh. Mice? Yeah. Nope. Nope, nope. And Gaga's Little Monster. Snakes. Happened when she was younger. She went to the zoo and they wanted her to hold a snake and she didn't want to hold it. It was too big for her. But her sister, older sister, thought it was very funny. So she borrowed the neighbor's pet python and decided to leave it in her bed. Yeah, worst moment of her life. She still doesn't forgive her sister 12 years later. Okay, and Tanya Ray, saving this one for last because I can totally relate to this one. What creeps me out is spiders. Really, really bad. Because when she was 11, her brother brought home a pet tarantula. 
you say it. Tarantula. Yeah, from school for a project. He decided to put it in her bed when she was sleeping. What's with the with the critters in the bed? Brothers and sisters and siblings are mean to each other. And she woke up screaming. Needless to say, her brother did get in trouble. But to this to this day, she's scared of spiders. I don't blame you. Okay, so what is something that creeps you out? I need my book. What is some? What is something that creeps you out? I would say the thing that creeps me out, something that always creeps me out, is, is movies where you see somebody uh, ripping your nails. And since I've lost my fingers, anything to do with cut fingers and stuff like that, just kind of, I just go, Sends a Blah. tingle up your spine. I don't want to see it. It just hurts. <laughs> I just go like, ah, ah, ah. I used to be really, really creeped out by spiders, but I've gotten over that. Um, if they're in my house, I'll kill them. Um, most of them. If, if they're like daddy long legs or something, I'll catch them and I'll let them go outside. But um, I used to even have to call him to come and kill them because I was that afraid of them. But I'm okay now. But the thing that really, really creeped me out is... One of our Halloween parties, I think it was our very first Halloween party in this house, uh, Crimson Fairy makes the desserts for our Halloween parties. And she made this graveyard cake. And when you cut into the cake, she used marzipan for maggots. She used gummy worms. She used... I don't know, stuff to make it look like it was bleeding and had bugs and people cut into that cake. And I do not have a weak stomach. I do not get creeped out easily. I, I, I had to leave the room. Tasty, I, tasty I could cake. not eat it. I could not look at it. I could not watch people eat it. Don't ask me why, but for some reason, that cake did it to me. So, thank you very much, Crimson Fairy. Okay. Oh, and thank you also very much again, Crimson Fairy, for my beautiful hair. Everybody loves it. Thank you so much for all the beautiful compliments I got. Okay, my question for tonight is, what is something you can never leave home without? It's time for... Nate, oh, my dress is stuck on my chair. It's time for <laughs> Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Boop, boop. Okay, so last night, or two days ago, three days ago, the question was, who was the man in black in Halloween 5? And I was wrong about the date. I said 95, but it's actually 89. The sequel came out in 95. Uh, um, Michael Myers 6. Just, Curse of Michael Myers. Just a tad bit off just there. Just a little off. And um, the the answer, of course, is it was Dr. Terrence Wynn, who was the leader of the crazy Thorn cult. And um, however, by the time the, when they actually made the movie in '89, they really had no idea who was going to who the Man in Black was going to be. They hadn't written the script yet, but they knew they were that he was going to be somebody. And they weren't sure whether it was going to be uh, Michael Myers' alter ego, his twin brother, or just... Uh, they had no idea that they had introduced the, this bizarre tattoo on his arm that he never had ever before. But, those who got that correct, and I'm having problems uh, putting these in order, so it was uh, Terry Johnson, Bambi S, Missy Harris, and Abyss 92882. Now, tonight's question. There is a little-known horror film. It's called Father's Day. Considering it's Father's Day. Keep going. Um, this is a trauma film. For those of you who know what trauma films are like, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's, um, it's the kind of stuff that... Um, Rocky and Rich. Yeah, and Quentin Tarantino loves them. Those are called grindhouse kind of movies. So, um, it's so Father's Day, 2011. Uh, question is, 
How many directors did this cheesy movie have? Okay, everybody, just to let you know, there are only nine days left to buy your limited edition Neighbors t-shirt. Nine days. And we are running out. So make sure you get your shirt before it's too late. Nine days left. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We love you all very, very much. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out everything we do. And happy birthday, Brittany Olson. And we will see you all tomorrow.